Guys, it's CMDR coming at you guys with a video. This one is about my nut color. I recently received the Signed Mod 10.1 update, which brings the nut color to Android 4.2.2, which is the latest iteration of Android. This is amazing because the nut color is a four-year-old device, and it is almost unheard of to have Signed Mod support device this old for this long. This might be the oldest device they are currently supporting officially, um, as far as I know. That's uh, that's the oldest device that they are currently supporting, so that's something to think about when you watch this review, but um, this is basically just going to be a review on the latest uh, update and what I see different from CM10 and CM9. So as you can tell, as I'm swiping through these home screens, it's it seems to be a lot quicker than CM10. Now this ROM is by no means lag free, but it seems to be a lot faster than any other previous ROM that this device has received. As you can tell, there's um, occasional lag when you're swiping through the widget screen, but other than that, it seems pretty smooth to me. I could definitely use it as a daily driver. Um, my setup under development settings and uh, performance settings are the following, so you can just use these if you'd like, because it seems to be running just fine on these settings for me. But under performance settings, under memory management, I have kernel same page emerging uh, enabled, and under ZRAM, I also have that enabled to 26%. So the RAM is basically compressed, and kernel same age merging is on, so that seems to be working for me. It might not work for you, so just I'd try enabling those first and seeing if it works for you. Under processor settings, I have minimum set to 600 megahertz because anything lower than that, um, it seems to run pretty sluggish for me. And for the maximum, I have it set to 100, 1,100 megahertz, which is the top stepping for um, this kernel on this device. So you can always install a custom kernel on it. But as for the stock kernel, uh, it maxes out at 1,100 uh, 1, megahertz. So, um, as you can tell, it's very fast, very fluid. Um, in the signs mod settings, what they've changed in there um, are the uh, this quick settings panel. You can always change that by going into settings. And under signs mod, under interface, you can go to system, quick settings panel, and then go to, uh, not that, but tiles and layout. <clears throat> and you have this um, interface where you can um, actually interact with it and move stuff around and delete and you can add uh, obviously new tiles so that when you are pulling this down uh, you have more or less depending on what you use and you can always just uh, enable or disable whatever you want to do from there. So obviously it's just regular 4.2 stuff. I've got my Nexus 7 here so I can basically just compare the speed so you can get a feel for it. So. Um, it looks pretty similar, both are 7 inch tablets, so this is going to be easy. But obviously, the Nexus 7 is a lot faster for obvious reasons. Um, so, here you get to, get to see you know, how it runs at 60 frames a second. So, that's what it looks like. And then here, so obviously, it's a little bit slower. After you use the Nexus 7, it honestly does seem a little slower, but you can get used to it. And when I open this up, it's a little jittery. But other than that, it works pretty fine. Um, another thing that they've improved is now Google Now works on the Nook Color, which uh, it didn't work in CM10, which is why I had it disabled, but now Google Now works. And the one thing that doesn't work on it, however, is voice search. If you uh, try to do a voice search on there, it'll open it up at first and then it'll stop, whereas it should just open up and do a prompt like on here. So that's, uh, that's one of the bugs, really, I think that's the only bug, really that I've seen on here, uh, Google Voice just, or not Google Voice, but the voice search just crashes on that part. But other than that, I've had no serious uh, freezes or lags or um, any random reboots, really. There's nothing like that on this ROM. It's uh, it's pretty good update. Uh, I'd definitely install it if you uh, have a color and you're just getting bored of CM10 or whatnot. It's definitely a good update. Everything's very fast and fluid. It's very beneficial. So um, basically, I'm just going to end this review right here. Uh, but if you try it out, just leave your comments in the section below and tell me about what you thought about the ROM. And uh, basically, that's all. So um, maybe for the, see you guys in the next time video. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.